You should come with me. Hey, did you know there were some weapons brought back here to Goliad? Energy weapons taken from the clerics? I'd be interested in getting a look at them, if you know how I could get a chance to do that. Be careful. You know I could get you exiled for even asking about that. Yes, of course. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Listen, what I need is some help. Let's be straight. You recently tracked down a pair of cleric weapons, didn't you? Is that an accusation? This is a small town with lots of big mouths. There aren't really that many secrets. So, have you given those weapons over to the pit? Or do you still have them? I know some people who would be happy to pay for them. The berserkers don't want them. The clerics do. Are you some sort of traitor? Me? No, no, I'm no traitor. I just know some interested parties who would like to get hold of those weapons. I'm sure they would be grateful for your help. You'd be making some useful friends. Friends? You mean you're a cleric, or you know someone who is. That sort of accusation can get someone killed, so don't go shouting that at me. I'm no use to you dead. Besides, you can do with a friend, and the shards they bring. I can't give you the weapons. You think it's wrong to forbid technology? Some say Elix fell from the sky as a curse. Others say it's a blessing. I think it's for each man to decide which. Will you give me those weapons? Of course, of course. I can offer you Alexit if you give them to me. That would only be fair. And should you wish to learn more about technology, I could point you to where answers can be found. No, your Alexit isn't worth the risk. Then superstition wins over reason. A loss for us all. Go, hand them in. A shame. I thought you would be clearer thinking than the others here. You don't think technology should be forbidden? Look at the people here. They want to change the world, but they're doing it one handful of soil at a time. You're staying here although you don't like it. There's something wrong about you. Tell me the truth. Okay, okay, you seem to have figured it out. Well, it's safer here, behind these walls, than out there with the mutants. Particularly if you don't have an energy weapon. I was traveling in Idan with a comrade to scout for men and material. We found ourselves cornered by some mutants. I was the only one to survive the attack. I ran like there was no tomorrow, and left my weapon behind. I'm glad they found me and brought me to Goliad. Besides, there are things to learn here. The more people I can convince while I am here, the better it is for everyone. Is there anything else you don't like about Berserkers? Don't get me wrong, the people here can be fair, they help those around them, and there's the wonder that is Berserker magic. And if you follow their laws, you will find acceptance here. All of which is a thousand times better than you can expect from the outlaws. The people of Tavar might as well be mutants, the way they turn on everyone and everything. What I don't understand is the hatred for clerics here. The wars of the past are long gone. The enmity should be buried. Certainly the clerics believe differently about technology, but that's no reason to hate them, is it? It sounds like you've learned a lot about the clerics. What about you? Are you going to pledge allegiance to the Berserkers? Run off to the outlaw way of life? Or follow an interest in technology to the clerics? I want to become a Berserker. Good for you. Magic and superstition and save the planet, all very noble. I wish you well. But should the magic wear off someday, there may be others who would welcome you. Tell me more about the clerics. You know about the comet that struck our planet? Well, back before the impact, Magellan had technology that could take you into space, or to the bottom of the ocean. So, 
So the clerics want to see that golden age return. We don't want to abandon all the things our people achieved. The clerics think that with Kalan's guidance, technology can sort out this mess of a planet. That it can mean safety and progress for all the free people. So, is there anywhere to trade here? That depends what you want to buy. Traders need to be authorized, and what they can sell is restricted. You'll need to look elsewhere if you want energy weapons. Or anything more advanced than a hand-sharpened stick. And whatever you want to buy, you'll need to find the shards to pay. I could offer you some food as a gift. But... Well, since you disagreed with me about the cleric's weapons, I'd expect you'd refuse an offer of food, too. Welcome to the Mana Shrine. Have you been sent here with a task? Or are you here in search of a healer? Speak now. Or have you taken a vow of silence? It sounds like you're doing good work. Saving our world. The only work that matters. This is the Mana Shrine, where Elix is turned from poison to nectar. One day, all Elix will come here and Magalan will be free from its influence. Until then, we must contend with the danger here. The power released from Elix can make the shrine a hazardous place. Please, be careful here. The power of Elix. Tell me, who are you? You've not said what you're doing here. Something brought you here, didn't it? You were drawn to this place. I was an Alb, but I'm free from Elix now. Then you are an Alb no more. It is Elix that turns a man into an Alb. Without that poison, you are free to make your own choices. You have told me who you were. Now you, now we, will find out who you are. Please understand, whatever feelings are new to you, every person faces that same struggle. It is the struggle Magellan suffers from, too. She is dosed with Elix. She has it in her veins, as you did. But Magellan does not suffer from temptation. You must feel the lure of Elix to your bones. The power it offers. Resist it. One sign of you giving in to the temptation of Elix, and I will be forced to report you. If this world gives in to Elix, it will consume us all. What do you do here, other than give free advice? As Amrik said, our hope for Magellan is that all Elix shall become mana, that from mana Magellan will be reborn. From wasteland shall spring forest, for we are the healers of the world. So, the workers bring the Elix to us, and we transmute it at the Mana Shrine. Well, that is supposed to be what happens, but people don't seem able to stick to their tasks. How does Mana help you cast magic? That we have yet to understand, though we do study it. Even now, Thorold the Pilgrim has withdrawn from Elix to study its mysteries in the hope we can grow stronger. Those who cast magic will tell you that while the Alps lose their emotions closing off their minds, mana opens the mind, connects you and the world. Isn't mana addictive like Elix? It is the power of mana that is addictive, not the substance itself. You can see that in Goliath. We don't need mana like the Alps have to have their Elix. And we use a lot less. Most of the elix we find is given to our seedlings. 
Mana puts our bodies and minds in harmony with the magic we use. For us, it is natural. The energy the elves use in magic is torn from the world. It damages them and it damages the world. So how do you transform Elix? Transmute. We transmute Elix. We place the Elix in the mana shrine. There is something in this mountain, the way the rock was changed by the comet. As the Elix passes through, it is changed, purified into mana. If you bring anything that has been altered by Elix close to the shrine, you can feel it. You say people aren't doing their tasks. Yes, the biggest problem we have is temptation. Elix corrupts people as it does the planet. Last week, five large pieces of Elix disappeared from the shrine before it could be transmuted, at the same time as Kral, one of our guards. So Kral stole the Elix? I think Kral is the thief, but thinking is uncertainty. The searches for him and the Elix have come up empty, and I have no idea why he would take the Elix. Maybe. Where would I need to start looking for Kral? Well, that is the question, isn't it? The guards tried Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath. Kral spent a lot of time up there, sitting out on the main balcony. He's a thinker. While the guards might have been there already, they aren't the best of investigators. Maybe you will have more fortune if you look there. You're comfortable with an Alb living in Goliath? An Alb is a man who has become a slave to Elix. It seems to me that you have freed yourself. That makes you a rare individual. Still, you are wise to be wary. There are those here who would kill you if they learn your background. But Though it is not one of our written laws, it is central to our beliefs and to me that we should give all those who want it a second chance. If you are prepared to leave your past behind, you should be given a chance. Are you willing to do this? I want to leave my past behind. That is good. Now, Angrim or Ragnar will happily chew your ear about the law, but Everyone else will look to your actions. What do you do with the mana? Our mana is everything. It is life itself. It is mana that allows us to do magic. No other faction of the free people can do that. The mana potions we make give us that ability. It makes our warriors stronger, more powerful than any of the Alb's machines. But it doesn't just make us strong. It also makes the world blossom. Look around. All of this is the work of our world hearts. World hearts? World hearts are the center of everything we do. The heart of the berserkers. They are plants we enrich with mana. They bring the soil back to life. Will you trade me some mana for Elix? Gladly. What goods have you got? Sure. you into trouble here.
get rid of that technology. diary. No sign of the man. But let's see if he has left me a clue in here. Last entry. First the Elix devours him. Now it devours me. But I have no choice. Surely to steal is better than to kill. If I don't act now, then death must follow. So, the choice is made, and we must both go into the mausoleum. Perhaps we can live in this house of the dead. <laughs> Either this guy is reliving teenage poetry, or I just found out where he went. I should tell Caldrum. found Kral's diary. Where did you find it? And does it tell you anything useful? By the balcony of Ragnar's stronghold. Kral wrote about a mausoleum outside of Goliath. Maybe he went there. Then he has picked the perfect place to hide. I don't know anyone who would go willing into that mausoleum to search for him. It is a place for the dead. I'll go. If you tell me where it is. Very well. You will find the mausoleum in the area outside Goliath that is down below the pit, south, southeast towards the world heart. Tread carefully, though. People are telling stories of some sort of undead creature there. Not that I believe in such things myself. Watch it there! Uh, I hate it when people mess with my stuff. You think the armor in this place makes itself? Well, you wouldn't be the only one, but let me tell you, it's not true. Damned hard work makes it. My damned hard work. So don't get in my way. Can I get some of this armor? I am only authorized to hand out equipment to anyone who has earned it. A cultivator isn't allowed to wear the armor of a paladin. That armor goes with that rank and that honor. So, if you want a set of it, you'll have to work to earn it. I'd like to trade. Pick your armor, choose your weapon, we can trade.
With all the wounded there are these days? Good enough for that. What are you doing here? You sh you should go. This place is dangerous. You you should move on. You're Krell, the guard from the Mana Shrine, right? Yeah. You've come looking for me then, huh? And you came running, did you? You're the one who disappeared at the same time as it did, and you're hiding out here. So, they have no other suspects? Why did you steal the Elix? What's that to you? I've not seen you before. Tell me what happened. Maybe I won't give you up. How can I be sure of that?
can't. But if I don't go back to Goliath, then they will know you're here. You don't have a choice. No. No, I don't, do I? Use your chance to get out of this, or leave it. Your choice. Who says there's anything to explain? Elix, it's worth a lot. I took it. I sold it. You wouldn't be hiding out here if you had. Maybe I like mausoleums. Go on, ask your questions. Why do you need Elix? I am not hiding. Have you met the mutant here? No. That is my brother, Grimmer. The Albs captured him and took him to that converter. They were going to throw him in. He escaped somehow, but the converter had changed him. I don't know how he survived, but whatever that machine did to him, it's left him needing Elix. If he goes without it for any time, then he's in pain. Without it, I know he'll die. He's my brother. And sometimes I wonder if I did the right thing in saving him. You're feeding Elix to your brother? I'm controlling it. Trying to lessen the dose each time. I'm weaning him off it, I'm sure. I keep going, I can get him back. When he's better, I'll go back to Goliath. I'll explain everything to Caldron. Until then, I can't. They wouldn't understand what I'm doing. You should end his suffering. He's my brother. I know he's still in there somewhere. If we can keep him alive, I can get him back. I can't give up on him. Keep the Elix. Yeah, great. I wouldn't have given it to you anyway. What will you say to Caldrum? I'll say I found your corpse. Dead should answer the question. They won't look for a dead man. Maybe. I can explain that. If I go back in the future, say the body was mutilated, I'll say that I planted things on it. I hope I can go back to Goliath after my brother's cured.
That's more of a reason. About Kral. Yes? I found Kral. He's dead. Then his crime has been paid for. Did you find the Elix there with him? No, there was no Elix. I feared as much. No doubt it has already fallen into the wrong hands. Thank you for your efforts. You achieved more than the guards did. One question at least now has an answer. Something has occurred to me. Perhaps you could help me with something. What do you need? I need someone less conspicuous than myself to do some inquiring. You see, I need some answers. But if I start asking questions, it might be as bad as me outright condemning the man in question. Suspicion sticks and people can start to see someone as guilty, even if there is nothing wrong. So, that is why I'd like you to do the asking. You see, there is a cultivator by the name of Ulrich, a willing and capable berserker. But there has been a change in him of late, something I can't quite put my finger on. I would like you to speak to him and see if you can find out what is troubling him. What do you suspect Orc's problem is? Well, that's the issue. Suspicion is all I have. You see, Orc has continued with his tasks. He is polite and helpful, but there is a distance. He isn't as open as he used to be. How can I find out what's wrong? Just talk with him. See if you get the same feeling. He is someone who loves what he does. You should have no trouble getting him talking about his work in the seeding fields. It has long been a passion of his. But maybe that's it. Maybe he's seeking promotion. Or maybe he's just having a bad day. Whatever it is, he served as well. And if there is something wrong, I'd like to help him. I don't want him to be afraid to tell me of problems. steal anything here. Fucking mutants! They're so desperate for Elix, they even try eating the mana from the seedlings. All that work, ruined by damn rot bores. There's mana in the seedlings? Of course. We feed them with it. But mana is made from Elix, right? The mutants can feel that. They think if they eat the plants, they'll get the Elix. 
but they get mana instead. At least that makes them weaker. Then they're easier to kill off. <laughs> but only after they've done the damage. That doesn't help me keep the seedlings alive, though. And that's my task. I look after all the seedlings here. Wait a moment. You... you look familiar to me. Yeah, I've seen you somewhere before. You must be mistaken. We've not met. I didn't say we'd met, just that I recognized you, but... No, you couldn't be him. <laughs> I mean, what would an Alb commander be doing here in Golia? I mean, what, you just decided to stop conquering Magalan and hang out here with me instead? That'd be crazy. But, you know, you do look really like him. You should be careful. If someone else recognizes you, uh, thinks they recognize you, then you'd never get back to the Ice Palace. <laughs> so, your job is to protect these plants from mutants. Happy? I've got the most important job in Goli. Hey, maybe even on Magellan. Protecting the seedlings, that's the law. World hearts are to be protected from everyone and everything. Not that these little baby seedlings are world hearts yet. But, now Boren's had the mana delivery from Caldrum, we can start cultivating them again, and then, who knows? World hearts, proper world hearts, are rare. But maybe, just maybe, one of these little things will make it to maturity. Are you happy working for Caldrum? Yeah. So, yeah. Well, it's not always so easy. Caldrum is pretty strict about how the plants are grown, and what you do with them, and... Well, how are we gonna learn like that? You think the first cultivators just stood and watched things grow? The first mages just waited for magic? No, they tried things. They experimented. Is there a way to stop the mutants from eating the plants? Yeah, I mean, if we can't grow many world hearts, maybe we should try growing them differently. Maybe we could breed them so that the mutants wouldn't eat them. But we're not allowed to try. Which is crazy. I mean, imagine what we could do. And not just to seedlings. If mana does that to a plant, imagine what it could do to a person. If we don't try, we won't progress. What do you think of Born? He's a good boss. I enjoy working with him. He cuts me some slack, gives me some time of my own. That gives me a chance to, well, do some experiments sometimes. Just try a few things to see if I can help the seedlings. And is everything all right out here? There's nothing getting you down? Just the usual, the mutants, the low success rate in growing world hearts, the occasional bit of grief from the boss, but nothing too bad. You know, nothing worth talking about. Why are world hearts so rare? I don't know. I mean, berserkers have been studying them since before I was born. I think they found one out in the wild. I heard they were going to destroy it because it was, you know, a mutant plant. Then they realized this thing was making everything else grow. They've been learning how to cultivate more world hearts since then, but it's hard. Even since they learned to feed them with mana. It sounds like you really care about your job. You know, yes, I do. I want to see the seedlings live. I want to see more world hearts. I just wish that the others could see how I could help them achieve that. How do you think you can improve the seedling crop? And that's just the seedlings. There's not been many experiments on people since some narrow-minded warlord banned them. I think we should at least talk about trying that again. If feeding mana to plants in these doses can make world hearts, what would happen if we got the dose right with people? Any experiment. It's going to take someone to show the way, to blaze the trail, to be the first. It takes courage to be the first. Well, I was thinking about mana and seedlings and, and us, right? The, the Elix, the normal Elix that the Albs are after, that makes them stronger. That's why they're so scary. So I thought, 
what if we did that with mana? I mean, it's been purified by the plants, so it should be all right, yeah? And, and if it makes us stronger, like the Alps, then we'd stand more of a chance. We could take them on. So, so I extracted the juice from a seedling, and, and I drank it. And I felt, I felt like I understood everything, everything. Don't your laws forbid that? Yeah. Yeah, I, I suppose, but don't you see? If we can get this to work, if we can do this, then, then we'd all be stronger. You can see that, can't you? I've got to wait to try again, but I'm telling you. One more dose, maybe two, and I'll become something else. Something that can fight the Alves. One more dose? One more mature seedling, and I could solve this question. I know it. I can show everyone the way. We can win this war. All this can be over. You believe me, right? So, let's keep this between ourselves. You will get more juice. I promise. I should go now. I have to make this work. to him? Yes. I have some information for you. Good, good. Please, tell me everything. Those idiots from the Hammer Clan. How can they think that that was a good idea? Well, I thank you for the information. Now, I must see that justice is done. What will happen if we all begin to rely on machines? Nothing we can do will end this war. Someone has to do something.
Oreg. Yes? Keldron? Why are you here? Certain facts have reached my ears. I know what you have been hiding. Why didn't you come to me, Oreg? Your intentions, your diligence are admirable. But you must have known you were breaking one of our strictest laws. The Isen clan felt they had no choice but to ask for a sentence of death. They would be here for you now, but I begged for the chance to speak to you first. You have to speak to them, Caldrim. I know, I know this was wrong by the word of law, but the seedling has made me feel stronger. This isn't about me, this is about the future of all of us. If we can just try this, allow ourselves to experiment more, this could save us all. Auric, these experiments were forbidden for a reason. You've chosen a path the Alves have already taken, and it would destroy us all. I will use my voice to have your sentence commuted. I will see that you are exiled, not executed. But you have to learn from this. You will never return to Goliath. Your belongings will be shared amongst your clan. You must never go near a seedling again. Didn't Eisenfaust experiment? Amrik himself took chances. And if Angrim were to hear you saying things like that, he would overrule me and you would die. Please, you of all people, Caldrim, your ears are open. That's why I know your intentions were pure, even if they were misguided. But now you must leave, Auric, and may the valley give you the chance to learn the error of your actions. These seedlings, they're our true hope. <laughs>